studies. Studies. Oh, so, uh, we're going to study that. Uh, so, we going to study Just give me a second. Designing a new logo and I run out of ideas. Can you help me? Your Majesty. My kingdom is confronted with an imperative matter. With what methods can we evade the utilization of plastics? Four thirds. Wait, what? Four thirds? I beg your pardon? What do you mean? We have four beats of one sound in the given time and three beats of another sound in the same time and just mix them together. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. Here, yeah, I'll show you. As you can see, the point on the left hand circle travels exactly four thirds faster than the other point, which draws this rough. Whoa. This is cool. Thanks. Please explain yourself. I mean, four thirds pi r cubed, the volume of a sphere. A sphere has the smallest surface area to volume ratio. Which means with the same volume. So a sphere has the smallest surface area. If we command the United Kingdom to manufacture sphere bottles, we can eliminate a shed load of plastic. Oh, how genius! Quite so. There's this girl I like. She's just so far away from me. She's funny. She's smart. She's good at everything. She's just... She's just perfect. Do you reckon there's any chance that I'll be with her? Four thirds. Four thirds? Sorry, I was just having a moment. So we love her hundred percent. But the probability for she to fall in love with you, however, is zero percent. So the geometric mean of your relationship will be the square root of zero times a hundred, which is zero. So you're saying it's impossible? I'm afraid so. Okay. Thank you. But, I'll give you a simple equation. Let's say this equation will turn the probability of her loving you to 50%. Then the geometric mean of your relationship will be 70.71%. Not bad, eh? So, you're saying there is a chance that we'll be together? 70.71%. Yes, there is a chance. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Why do all of my friends have more friends than I do? It is very interesting indeed, the friendship paradox. A paradox? The average number of friends of friends is always greater than the average number of friends of individuals. Okay, why? Say we have some sort of network here, and the i individual has xi friends. So the average number of friends of individuals is simply the sum of xi over n. Okay. And the average number of friends of friends is the total number of friends of friends divided by the total number of friends of individuals. The i-th individual is a friend xi times and has xi friends, so that individual contributes xi squared friends friends. 
So the average number of friends of friends would be the sum of xi squared over the sum of xi. What? And with a little tweak in algebra, we get this equation. And we can prove this using the cauchy schwarz inequality. It shows that the average number of friends of friends is greater than the average number of friends of individuals. And for my friends as well, their friends have more friends than they do? Precisely. How may I help you? One of my ambitions is to create a Chinese search engine, one just like Google. But I'm not exactly sure how one works. Will you help me with that? Sure. Let's look at how search engines rank pages. We have four websites, for example, and they're turned into a directed graph with four nodes. The directed edge from A to B means that website A references website B. Each page transfer evenly its weight. Node 1 has three outgoing edges, so it will pass on one third of its importance. We can then denote A the transition matrix of the graph. Suppose initially the weight is uniformly distributed, and we denote V the initial rank vector. We update the rank by adding the current value with the importance of the incoming links, which is the same as in multiplying the matrix A with V. We can then iterate the process, and we notice that A to the power of K times V tends to approach an equilibrium value, the page rank vector. Hmm. This world really needs math, doesn't it? It sure does. Well, at least I know someone does. I'm so sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, that's alright. Did you write this yourself? Um, yeah, I was actually gonna give it to you. <sighs> I didn't know you liked math. It's so sweet. 